Hi there. Welcome back to our next session on Advanced Java. In this session, we will discuss about the action tags in JSP. The action tags are used to control the flow between pages and to use Java Bean. There are many JSP action tags or elements. Each JSP action tag is used to perform some specific tasks. You can see all the JSP action tags on your screen. In this session we will learn all these sessions one by by with its example. What you need to do is, just do the program along with this video. I will provide you the codes at the end of the session. Now let's see JSP forward tag. The JSP forward action tag is used to forward the request to another resource it may be JSP, HTML, or another resource. This tag will redirect your page to next page. You can add parameters as well. Let's understand it with an example. In this example we are simply forwarding the index page to printdate.jsp page. Let's see it. I have already created the file. Let's see index.jsp. In index.jsp page I have given a text in heading tag. In the JSP forward tag, I am passing the printdate.jsp name. It will redirect my index file to printdate. Now save it. Open print date file. This is very simple program where I am printing today's date using scriptlet tag. Now save all your files. Copy the root folder and paste it to Apache Web Apps folder. Go to browser and open the server page. You can see your folder name application list. Click on it. You can see index.jsp file is immediately forwarded to print date page. Now let's see JSP include action tag. The JSP include action tag is used to include the content of another resource it may be JSP, HTML, or Surflay. The JSP include action tag includes the resource at request time so it is better for dynamic pages because there might be changes in future. The JSP include tag can be used to include static as well as dynamic pages. Advantage of JSP include action tag. Code reusability. We can use a page many times such as including header and footer pages in all pages. So it saves a lot of time. Let's understand it with an example. In this example, index.jsp file includes the content of printdate.jsp page. Let's do the example. Let's see index.jsp page. In this page I have used heading tag to print message. Then in JSP include tag. I have included the print date JSP page. After this tag again a header tag with message. Now see the print date JSP page. In this page I am printing today's date and printing the parameter if any passed from include tag. It will give you null output, since I have not passed any parameter. Save your files. Now copy your root folder and paste it to the Apache's web apps folder. Go to the browser and open your server manager console. You can see your application in the application list. Click on the link, now you can see index page with the content of print date in between the headings of index page. Now let's discuss Java beans. A bean encapsulates many objects into one object, so we can access this object from multiple places. Moreover, it provides the easy maintenance. It is a reusable software component. A Java bean is a Java class that should follow following conventions. It should have a no argument constructor. It should be serializable. And. It should provide methods to set and get the values of the properties, known as getter and setter methods. JSP use bean action tag. The JSP use bean action tag is used to locate or instantiate a bean class. If bean object of the bean class is already created, it doesn't create the bean depending on the scope. But if object of bean is not created, it instantiates the bean. You can have look on the syntax of use beans. We will do it with an example. Let's understand the attributes and usage of JSP use beans. ID is used to identify the bean in the specified scope. Scope represents the scope of the bean. It may be page, request, session, or application. The default scope is page. Page, specifies that you can use this bean within the JSP page. 
The default scope is page. Request, specifies that you can use this bean from any JSP page that processes the same request. It has wider scope than page. Session, specifies that you can use this bean from any JSP page in the same session whether processes the same request or not. It has wider scope than request. Application, specifies that you can use this bean from any JSP page in the same application. It has wider scope than session. Class, instantiates the specified bean class, i.e. creates an object of the bean class, but it must have no argument or no constructor and must not be abstract. Type, provides the bean a data type if the bean already exists in the scope. It is mainly used with class or bean name attribute. If you use it without class or bean name, no bean is instantiated. Bean name, instantiates the bean using the java beans beans instantiate method let's understand use beans action tag with an example in this example we are creating a bean class that is used in our jsp let's do it i have created the project in this project you need the file structure as servlets there must be a web inf folder in root directory and classes folder into it let's see calculator.java file in this file I have created a package name com.etherinfotech. In this file I have created a method that calculates the cube of any integer number. Now let's see index JSP file. In this file I have JSP use bean tag, in its id, create any object I have made obj, and in class pass the class name with complete package path. Now in script let tag use the object and execute the method of the bean class. You can see the code. Now save your files. You need to compile your java file, that is, calculator.java to the classes folder in webinf. Open the command prompt and compile it. Now copy the root directory and paste it to the Apache's web apps folder. Go to the browser and visit Apache server manager console. You can see your application in application list. Click on it, and you get the output. You have passed 5 as argument of the method cube, so it gives you the result as 125. Now let's see JSP set property and JSP get property action tags. The set property and get property action tags are used for developing web application with Java Bean. In web development, Bean class is mostly used because it is a reusable software component that represents data. The JSP set property action tag sets a property value or values in a bean using the setter method. Let's understand it with an example. In this example there are three pages. Index HTML for input of values. Welcome JSP file that sets the incoming values to the bean object and prints the one value, and user Java bean class that have setter and getter methods. Let's see the project. First of all have a look on index.jsp file. In index file I have created a simple form that sends the data to welcome.jsp. In action I have given welcome.jsp. There is a text field and a button. Let's see the user.java file. In user file I have created a package com.etherinfotech. In user class I have created setter and getter methods to accept the name and retrieve it back using getter method. See the code on your screen. Now see welcome JSP file. In this file I have created a use bean tag to call the java file and create its object. In the JSP set property tag, using the bean object passing the value to setter method of user class. See the code on your screen. Now I am using get property tag to retrieve the property. Now save all your files and open the command prompt to compile the java file. Compile your Java code to the classes folder of web inf folder. Copy the root folder to Apache's web apps folder. Go to the browser and visit local server. You can find your application name in the application list. Click on it and see. Enter text and click on go. You can see the information that you passed is shown in the next page. Now let's see JSP plugin action tag. The JSP plugin action tag is used to embed applet in the JSP file. 
The JSP plugin action tag downloads plugin at client side to execute an applet or bean. See the syntax of it? It depends on the browser, whether it supports plugin or not. Hope you enjoyed this session. You need to do more and more practice for it. We will learn some more interesting topics in our upcoming sessions. Till then, take care, thank you. Hope you liked the video we will get to know more topics in our upcoming sessions. Till then thank you.